In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to control a relay using a temperature value from a thermocouple. Be careful wiring relays as they are potentially dangerous with high voltage. This video is the final of a series. In one video we connected an LCD to an Arduino. We connected the MAX31855 breakout board and the K-type thermocouple to the Arduino. We configured these two together to display the temperature readings onto the LCD display. And we wired a relay, which is controlled by the Arduino, to switch on a high voltage light. Links to each of these videos, and also the playlist, can be found in the description. In this video we'll be configuring the relay so that it's controlled by a temperature set point. Once the temperature reaches a set point of 40 degrees in this case, the high voltage relay switches to a closed position and the light turns on. We start with an Arduino. We've got a MAX3185 breakout board and a K-type thermocouple. The temperature is converted to millivolts in the thermocouple. From the breakout board this is converted to digital units which is read over SPI. The temperature is displayed on an LCD screen with 4-bit output and then a relay is controlled using a digital output which switches the light on or off. Be careful because the light is 230 volts. We connect the relay to the Arduino, first connecting the ground pin to the ground bar on the breadboard. Next we connect to VCC which is connected to the power bar on our breadboard which is connected back to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino. Once ground and VCC are connected, we can connect the signal wire to the Arduino. I've selected pin 9 on the Arduino to use for the signal. When you've connected the three wires, now you're ready to power up your board so we can compile a sketch and upload it. You can open the Arduino IDE. Opening the sketch from the thermocouple to LCD example, you can save it as a new sketch, calling it thermocouple with LCD and relay. You can also open the relay example from the previous video. In our new main sketch, first we're going to define the signal wire as relay 1 on pin 9. Now we move to the old relay example and we can copy some of the setup over to the new script. And we can paste it over in the setup loop. And now in the main loop, we can add a conditional statement and we can say if C, which is the temperature in Celsius, is greater or equal than 40, we can get it to do something. And now back in our relay example, we can copy the two lines of code which writes the relay high and paste them back into our if statement. So that's if the temperature goes over or is equal to 40, the relay will switch to high or the light will turn on. And we can add an else condition to the statement. So if the temperature is not greater or equal than 40, and we can copy the digital write low function from the relay script and paste it into our else statement. So if the temperature is not greater than or equal to 40, the, the relay will switch low and the light will turn off. I just need to change my relay definitions to match my definition at the setup loop, at the pre-setup loop. From here we can compile the sketch and upload it to the board. And now that it's uploaded, you can see the temperature stabilizing. It's 14 and a half ish degrees here, 15 degrees. And now I can now get the demonstration. Okay, I'm going to place the thermocouple into a warm cup of water. You can watch the temperature rise straight away. And the light turns on once the temperature reaches 40 degrees. 
can remove the thermocouple, place it into a cool glass of water, the, the light turns off immediately as the temperature drops below 40. I hope this tutorial has helped you today. It's been brought to you by Mishmash Labs. If you like our videos, please like them and subscribe and turn on the notifications below. Check out our channel for other videos and nice projects. Thanks for watching.